So lately, if you've been looking to buy a house, it's been very bad because prices is too high. Everything ain't adding up. You got to put extra money to fix it once you actually buy it. So I seen a dope article that I want to cover, and it is on ABC News to say what some buyers are doing to win bidding wars. And I want to know in the comments, is this something you would do to try to win a bidding war? And at the end of the video, I will tell you exactly what I did to win my bidding war with this house. The lack of available homes on the market is near historic lows. Sparkling fears bidders bidding um, bidding wars in cities across the country, and prompting too many buyers to get to get many buyers to get creative with their offers. June, over a million homes were for sale nationwide, and you got down 13.6 percent from a year ago when 1.22 million homes were available. It's still a seller market, and we won't see any changes any time soon housing experts says the biggest challenge for biggest challenge for home buyers right now is competition and cash is still king one of third of u.s home buyers are paying in cash the highest share is nearly a decade too many buyers chasing too few properties mm, too many buyers chasing too few properties is pushing home prices out of reach of growing numbers of americans Data complied, complied by the NAR found roughly one third of homes sold in June sold for above the listing price. So now, basically, houses are getting sold, but they are getting sold above the listing price. So it's good. It's definitely good. And we're going to talk about what I did, what was my listing price, how I end up doing it. All right. So somebody said, for their sixth time, they decided to employ a different tactic and appeal to the seller human side. And they're talking about a family, what they end up doing. It also didn't hurt that the couple bid $50,000 above average asking price. But in the um, competitive market, they knew even that high, even that might still not be enough. So they got their home. They had to bid over $50,000. We showed them our desire and eagerness to get a home. We described how we love the charm of the house and how we would be thrilled if they would select us to move into the family home. All right, so I start breaking down my story. So when we first walked into this house and we was met by the owner, came outside, we're like, hey, what's up? Because it was listed for one day. We set up appointments the very next day. I'm like, yeah, this is the one I want it. Let's go see it. So once we went and walked in to go see it, the guy was like, look, I don't supposed to be here. My realtor listed this early. We're here cleaning the crib, but it's either we can leave you alone and your realtor give you a tour or I can give you a tour. He's the owner of the house. Yes, give me a tour, which dummies, random higgles at gym, don't deny the owner from giving you a tour if they're the one that can save the house. He said... Everybody else denied him to give a tour. So no, <laughs> so he's letting us know everything, how everything worked. We're taking videos like, okay, this worked. This. So we was able to build a relationship just off that alone. Us having our son there and my wife was pregnant at the time. So I was like, yo, get our son and we got one in the oven. Hey man, you know, family home. So he was able to get all of that energy so if you have that opportunity, take full advantage of it and they know your situation. So you can hit that emotional side. If, um, if you're, if you're present, I can't even say that word, present, um, uh, persuasive letter writing skills aren't up to the sniff other ways to sweeten the offer and motivate buyers by looking forward to throwing all sort of extras. None to okay. You got, I'm sorry, I was reading over there, over that. But basically, it's like you can do things that you can throw in or take off to be able to get them. Another thing that we did was we waived the home appraisal pro, um, process. Not the home, um, the, not the appraisal, the, the, what the hell you call it when they come, the inspection. We waived the inspection. I would never in my life. Well, I repeat, 
I would never in my life, one more time, I would never in my life wave an inspection again. I knew if I didn't wave that inspection and have a lot of cash, we wasn't going to get this because everybody named mama wanted this house. And I knew somebody would have got it. But I know if we would have did an inspection, I probably would have got this house for $30,000 cheaper. Once you're getting in the house and you see so many things, nothing up to code. Because since this the house was owned by a a um uh, I can't think what his engineer and he was a do it all yourself. So everything he made these cheers, he made that up there. So it's a lot of dope, unique things that he made. But it was a lot of nigger tree, some nigger rig stuff going on. I'm just saying, that was some stuff going on. Some stuff you. So, I wouldn't recommend. Yeah, Omar, you better tell them. You better tell them. Well, if their baby on the way, okay, so they had the baby deal. They, you know, had the baby situation. Um, if we did find something we love, we weren't going to overpay. So then they're like, all right, you know, you can overpay. <sighs> Our, our our thing it was the house was listed at three hundred thousand. We're like, look, we give you three hundred thousand. We know everybody gonna try to lowball you. And since I just sold my other home, I had a lot of cash. So our situation a lot different. Best thing is get as personable as you can with these people to tap into their emotions. Wave whatever you like, but do not wave that inspection. In my opinion. Now I know. If I didn't waive it, I wouldn't be in here. And I love this home. And I couldn't find nothing any better to this day. So it's like, you know, hindsight 2020. Let me know what you guys is doing. What's your process of trying to buy a home?